All right, Shalom Akim, giving our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wachak Wadash, Barakatai Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahshallah, Barakatai Yahweh. We're going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and were well, who are overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David, a more perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the Akim Wa'akwa scattered abroad to the same members of the hopeful elect. Who have been quickened in these last days to stand upon our feet and bear witness to the words of truth. Um this um let's just let's just get right into it, man. This is second answers four and eleven. It says, How should thy vessel then be able to comprehend the way of the highest? And the world being now outwardly corrupted, to understand the corruption that is evident in my sight. Now we all understand that Babylon the Great, matter of fact, the whole world is corrupted. We know that everything has been, what, turned upside down. We understand this, but we don't understand these things, all these things from the perspective of Yahweh Bashem Al-Shah. When Yahweh Bashem Al-Shah sees this place, he sees it in a totally different way than we see it, man. And granted, you know, the elect, the spirits in the elect are uh, the Allahayim that help create the world. But, hey, man, in this, in this incarnation, in this flesh right here, we only see the world, uh, uh, like the Apostle Paul said, uh, even though he's speaking about prophecy, we, we see everything through a, 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 dark, a glass dark, man, a, a dark glass, man. We only see half of the, not even half, man. We see a small percentage of what Yahweh Hashem Shah sees, man. But again, continuing on, 2 Corinthians 4 and 11. How should thy vessel then be able to comprehend the way of the highest and the world being now outwardly corrupted to understand the corruption that is evident in my sight. Let's look at the word corrupted or corruption. Corrupt. Cause to act dishonestly and return from money or personal gain. Change or debase by making errors or unintentional alterations. Now we know that. We know what the definition says, but everything that has happened to the planet Earth, man, the the uh, the wicked rulership of Esau Edom, man, has been intentional, man. Because why? They are they symbolize and they embody total rebellion against Yahweh Shai, man. Verse twelve. Then said I unto him, It were better that we were not at all, than that we should live still in wickedness and to suffer, and not to know whereof, man. Verse thirteen. Answer me and said, I went into the forest. I went into a forest into a plain, and the trees took counsel, and said, Come, let us go and make war against the sea, that they may depart way away before us, and that we make uh we make make us more woods. Let's let's just jump down because this this the whole point of this would be um, you know, we we can't really understand what Yahweh Shmi uh understands. So let's jump down to the point that I wanted to get. Um Um yeah, okay. Second is 4 and 26. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hasteneth to fast to pass away, man. That's what we see what, man? We're starting to see the earth reject reject uh, uh, <laughs> the quote-unquote human race, man. The earthquake, you know, uh, natural phenomenon, all types of uh, um, pestilences, and all those things are coming for the Lord, but the earth is starting to re reject the, the plague of, of the quote-unquote human race, man, because the earth has a spirit in it, man. The earth was created in total balance. It's a, there's a thing called homeostasis, and that has been turned upside down. Perfect time to get um that scripture. I believe it's Isaiah 60. Let's go to Isaiah 60 and 1. Um, no, Isaiah, what is Isaiah 29? Isaiah 29. Uh, Slug you. Isaiah twenty nine sixteen says, "Surely your turning your things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it?" He had no understanding. Hey, the world is at a place, man. It's upside down, man. This is a clown world, weirdo, uh, um, 
we're the alternate alternate universe that we live in, man, an alternate reality, man. This world that we live in is fueled by and promotes total wickedness and rebellion, man. That's why Jake does what Jake does we that he does what he does to like him. He saw him does what he does, man. And everything is just corrupted, man. It's, it's everything is just like I said, man, when y'all about Shima outside listen to this place, it he doesn't see what we see, man. Verse 27. And cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For what this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, man. It's full of it, man. Everywhere you go, everywhere you look, everywhere you turn, man. It's unrighteousness, infirmities, folly, vexation, rebellion, sin, man. And that's why this place, it has to be destroyed, man. It has, This place has to be destroyed, man. It, it literally has to. There is no, there is no other uh, solution for this cause. Uh, no, there is no other solution for this problem but total destruction. That's what happens, man. When you when something's not going right, you have a um a, um a saying, you know, you gotta go back to the drawing board. You gotta totally destroy. You gotta scrap it, totally destroy it, and go right back to the drawing board in hopes and uh in hopes of creating something way better, man. And Yahweh Bashim Shah has promises. That's why what the scriptures say that the uh the land is afforded him as the Garden of Eden, man. When once this this nuclear fire and its destruction and it's a uh, um when Yahweh Shah comes back, man, everything is gonna uh start start afresh, man. That's why what the scriptures say that uh, I saw a new a heaven, new heaven and a new earth, man. Kind of being refreshed. Everything is gonna be refreshed, man. Verse twenty eight. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee for what the evil is sown. The evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come, man. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and this is this is um the method methodology, man, the way of going about things, because the scripture is saying, if therefore, knowing that what the evil in this place is sown, man, knowing that what this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, knowing that what this this place is full of sin, uh, iniquity, uh, vexation, folly, knowing that all this, man, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good, man. That's the whole thing. This place has to go in order to, for us to have, uh, in order for us to come into the promises and the glory and the new covenant and everything that Yahweh Shem Shah is promising us. This place must absolutely be destroyed because here in Babylon the Great, it's not it's it's, it's not more so about the Edomites being a rulership because you know in the kingdom the Edomites are going to be there for a thousand years, but it's about them what they promote. Their ideology, ideologies, their philosophies. Not only that, all the nations have followed Esau Edom, man. There has not been one nation to stand up against Esau Edom and say, hey, what you're doing is wrong. No, we don't believe in alternative lifestyle living. No, we don't want to uh, take your currency on. No, we don't want to um, you know, do the whole westernized civilization thing. All in, in those countries, those small countries, those small minority of places that are opposed to Esau Edom, man. They're 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 landlocked. They're surrounded, man. Their Esau Edom has more allies than it does have enemies, you know, and you know throughout history, right and right now. But you know, what I'm saying the beast uh, is starting to hate the whore. But like I said, man, this place totally has to be destroyed because of all the weakness it uh, all the weakness it uh, um, supports. It ex this place oozes weakness. Second Ezra four and thirty says for the grain, a small grain of evil seed have been sown in the heart, the mind of Adam from the beginning, and how much ungodliness hath it brought up unto this time, and how much shall it yet bring forth unto the time of threshing come? Ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed hath brought forth, and when the ears shall be cut down, which are without number, how great a floor shall they fill, man? Just a small seed of rebellion has uh, um, sprouted, until what we see right here, man. This this whole planet, man. This whole world. Um. That's enough on that. That's that's a, that's the point one. Now we're gonna jump to second second edge of seven. Second edge of seven and yeah. You're, you're gay. Bruh, I'm making a video, bro. Uh, yeah. My bad. It's alright. Second Ezra seven and 
Okay, Second Andrew 7 and 41. It says, even so now, seeing corruption is grown up and wickedness increased and the righteous have prayed for the ungodly, wherefore shall it not be so now also? He answered me and said, this present life, this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Therefore have they prayed for the weak. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, man. I mean, what, man? The end of Esau Eden's rulership is going to be synonymous with the nuclear destruction. The whole, uh, um, the end, man. Hey, Esau Eden is going to go out with a literal bang, man. It's going to be uh, spectacular, man. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. And understand this, man. This is, the, again, the chronology that I speak about. The chronology, the order of events of the scriptures, because Yahweh Shem Shai has put in his purpose that this is going to be what is going to stop all this. There's not going to be anything else, man. No matter how much Jake wants to rebel and march, no matter how uh, pissed off these nations get, until that thermonuclear destruction comes, this is this is going to, the wickedness is going to continue. This way of living is going to continue because why, man? Yahweh Shem Shai has what? Measured the time diligently. He's numbered the times. He set everything in motion. But, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for it to come, wherein corruption is past, man, that we're corrupt again. And temperance is at an end, infidelity is cut off, righteousness is gone, and truth is sprung up, man. And that's the point, man. This place has to go in order for us to, you know, Jake is always saying, what's the solution? Uh, you know, what, should, what can we do? How can we fix it? With this down and third, man, this is how, man. Surrendering to the will and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Because if we don't, if if literally, man, it's that's that's the answer, man. That's the two plus two equaling four, man. Yahweh Shemal Shah has to destroy this place. And if it, this place is not going, if this place is not destroyed, there will be no uh, salvation. There will be no solution. There will be no uh, um no place where we have uh true liberty. There will be no place where our food and our air and our water is not defiled, man. So let's go to um let's go to second Peter three. Second Peter three and thirteen. Um we'll start let's get to the whole point. Second Peter three and ten. It says, But the day of the Lord, Yahabashima Shah, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. And what are the works therein, man? infidelity evil intemperance uh um iniquity these are all the works of the world man uh you know we can, scriptures like first john 2 and uh 15 through 17 man scriptures like uh um uh um the carnal mind man i think it's romans 6 or i believe romans 8 man scriptures like that it tells us what this world is all about man this world is all about pleasing the flesh man and the world to come is going to be about what Walking and operating in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, they cannot coexist, man. They can't coexist, man. Verse uh, eleven: Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, Look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. And that's speaking about, first and foremost, the Israelites, man. Because the, in, the, in the world to come, it's going to be all about the Israelites, man. The heathens are going to have to bow down. They're going to have to get in order, man. Because this world was not created for them, man. This world was created for us. This is our paradise, man. And the only way that Esau eat them, not, not even Esau eat them, the only way these nations will experience even a peace of tranquility is when... Uh, um. One that is profitable. Let's get we'll close that, close that on that, man. That's the only way you you heathens, you other nations are going to experience tranquility, man. When one that is profitable is set up over it, man. And when a righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. But when a wicked bear rule, the people mourn, man. So let's go to Ecclesiastes ten, Ecclesiastes ten, I believe. Ecclesiastes ten and um. Ecclesiastes 10 and um, 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable, man. So we know that the one that is profitable is Jehovah Shai himself, man. Because one, in the flesh, 
He conquered. He he conquered the ways of the world, man. He conquered sin and iniquity in the flesh, man. So he's he's worthy of that that first that um that you know what I'm saying rulership. He's he's shown himself to be able to um to be worthy of being in that rulership position, man. Because he conquered the he conquered the ways of the world while he was in the flesh, man. The same adversities and same afflictions that we go through, Yahweh did it times ten on a veteran. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a you know you get to play the game on different levels of difficulty. But Yahashai, he played the game at the highest level of difficulty and beat the game, flawless victory, man. So he's, he's worthy of he's worthy of all honor, praise, glory. He's worthy of everything. He's worthy to rule this place, man. He's worthy of it all, man. Because the task that he completed was no easy task, man. So again, man, this place has this place has to be destroyed, man. There's no this place uh, uh might be destroyed. This there's no uh, play, there's no this place could be destroyed. It absolutely has to be destroyed, man. It has to be, man. So we'll close it out. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us to the conclusion of the whole matter. For Yahweh Shemel Shai and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty, man. For Yahweh Shemel Shai shall make every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. With that being said, hello, y'all.